Okay, everybody, welcome to Irreverent Sensei, our latest video, and here we're going to talk about distance management. We'll talk about it from a self-defense perspective and from a combat sports perspective. All right, so first, distance management as far as self-defense. Why is it so important? Well, distance equals time, right? So if I have distance, I have time to react to a person or a threat. So let's watch this quick video here and we'll kind of highlight what I'm talking about here. So you see me walking through those two scary looking dudes and I walk right through them, right? Close enough where they could reach out and grab me if they wanted to. All right, scary. They may say, Harry, that looks a little silly. Okay, fair. But think about this. This is a real scenario. You're walking down the city on the sidewalk. Maybe there's a group of guys leaning up against a building. There's a bunch of cars lined up along the side of the street here. Then you go have to walk right through that bottleneck right next to them, okay? You've ever had that happen, all right? Did you feel a little bit uncomfortable? Probably because they were a little bit too close. If they did something, you weren't sure how you were going to react because they were so close, all right? Some of you probably said, I'm a big tough karate guy. I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to walk right by. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Um, good luck with that. But here's what I'm going to say to this. Just to highlight that point again. Um, Cezanne Sensei once said, humans are the only animals that have to relearn how to be animals. So with that being said, let's take a similar scenario Let's think of a big top animal out in the wild. Let's take a cheetah, right? An alpha cat predator, okay? And she's walking out in the wild on the prairie and it sees a group of wolves. Does the cheetah just kind of saunter by them and say, hey, I'm a big tough cheetah. You wolves aren't gonna bother me. No, no cheetah in the world is gonna do that because the cheetah knows that those wolves are mad enough or hungry enough, they'll jump them and that'll just be more force than he's ready to handle at that particular point in time. So no cheetah can handle that many wolves at a time, right? No, that's not what Cheetah going to do. If Cheetah sees a group of wolves on the prairie, he's going to give them some distance. He's going to keep an eye on them. He's going to make sure that if they start running down, he's got time to get out of there. All right? He's got distance and time to get out of there. That Cheetah's not going to engage unless it absolutely has to. All right? Same thing with you. So if you look at this second video, you see me walking around those big scary dudes. Again, giving them some space. So again, that same scenario, you're walking down the sidewalk. You guys on one side of you, the car's on the other. You, know, you don't feel comfortable about it? A cheetah wouldn't do that, right? A big tough cheetah wouldn't do that, so why should you? Right? Go around the cars, give yourself some distance, right? Who cares if you look stupid? No one cares. Because if they're gonna come at you, now they're gonna come around, they're gonna get through an obstacle, you've got time to get out of there. Exactly like what a big cat out in the wild would do, you know, against some group of unknown animals out there. So, you know, you're not being uh, paranoid or anything like that, you're thinking like a cheetah, all right? So now, distance management as far as combat sports. Super important as well. In combat sports, you want to control the distance that you want to fight at, right? To optimize your fighting style, your striker, or grapple, or whatever. And the distance can change really quickly from no fight, as Joe's going to explain to you, really close, and it can happen really fast. So Joe's going to talk about that next. Here it comes. OK, so in sport fighting, you know, controlling a distance is everything. It's how you manage the fight. It's how you manage um, whether you're going to be successful or not. So in combat sports, specifically ring or octagon, if I take control of the center, now I now Eric has to move a whole lot more where I can control because there's a defined perimeter. In self-defense, there's no defined perimeter, or there might be a defined perimeter, but specifically, if we keep distance, we, we have safety. There's no fight here. There's no, there's no engagement with Eric and I, whether it's self-defense or not. As I come in, now I'm in Eric's kicking range. Now there's a possible clash or engagement. Here, uh, you know, I'm striking range, potentially. You know, inside grappling range, you know, if I take him down, then we're on the ground. So pay attention to the different ranges within fighting. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the channel. As you said, distance management is super important for um, both self-defense and combat sports. So be thinking about that. Um, please, we appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe. If there's anything else you want to hear us talk about, please let us know. Uh, we'll be happy to share it. But thank you everyone for watching.